live in three, two, one. We're live. We're, live. We're already live. I wanted a <laughs> countdown. Oh, drum roll, please. <laughs> What's up, guys? Please let us know, as always, in the chat if you can see us and you can hear us. We don't know until you tell us that you can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me open up the chat here. So We're that I live. Can, see can you see us? Can you hear us? Is it all good? Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Michael. Hi, Sharon. Working. Awesome. Cool, guys. <laughs> Woo. Oh, Sorry. Every time. <laughs> well, you know. So we made it to Houston, guys. We're in Houston, Texas. We're at our friend's house, um, which has good Wi-Fi. Thank you, Alex and Jared, for having us. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Oh, there's everybody in the chat. Cool. There it goes. All right. What's it's up? Joe from Was Canada. Was lagged for a second. Jeremy. Cool. Lots of new people in the chat. That's awesome. Let's see how many people are in the chat right now. Oh, I might be able to. Ooh, we already got over 100 people watching. Cool. Yes. All right, guys. So. Ooh, there are people in Houston. We are doing a meetup nice. tomorrow at Holler Brewing. Tomorrow at Holler Brewing at 6 p.m., right? 6 p.m. Come meet us. Come meet us. We'd love to meet you guys. We want to meet everybody. The plan is to go garage sailing tomorrow and then go get a couple of brews with you guys. Should be a fun day. After we eat a ton of tacos. I'm excited. Like hello, hello. There? A ton of tacos. A ton of tacos. Hey, from Alabama. Hi, from New Jersey. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Roman. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for being here, guys. Yay. Thank you, guys. So we spent like just over 150 bucks today at thrift stores. Yeah, we spent exactly. Do you guys want to know exactly? $151.91. Cool. And we went to three thrift stores, two Goodwills and one Thrift America or America's Thrift Store, something like that. It's bright. The light's it, bright. Callie said, I need sunglasses. It's for real, bit, it's so bright. It's that a bit light. bright. Um, yeah, so we're going to show you guys everything that we bought today. Spent, like Ali said, 151 bucks. We got some really good stuff, some new brands. Um, and while we're showing you guys the stuff that we bought, feel free to ask questions in the chat and we will do our best to answer them. If we missed your question, let me just say it. If we missed your question, we're sorry. The chat sometimes goes really, really fast and we don't see it. Please just ask it again. And if we miss it entirely, just ask it in the comments after the chat's done. Um, and we will absolutely we will answer, answer it. it. Some people were mad we didn't answer their question. There's only two of us, and there's usually like 500 people in the chat. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we're only guys. That good, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, and everybody, please give the video a thumbs up. Sh Wait, Sean Oyer's in the chat. Is that Sean Oyer? Like our buddy, buddy, Sean Oyer? Gotta be. It has to be Sean. <laughs> Sean, for real? Sean says show us what already. Oh, right, here we go. Here Ow, we go. this is why I was not sitting on Ryan's side. Oh, sorry. You, like elbow me sorry. hard on my new tat. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you guys this one first. Check it out. It is Sean. Is it? That's so cool. This brand is 511 Tactical. We got a couple things from 511 Tactical, but I wanted to show you guys this one because I think this is one of the concealed carry shirts, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I've actually never seen one, but it looks like there's a pocket right here that opens up and it is actually a pocket for your gun, babe. Pocket for your guns. <laughs> so if you're wearing it, you can be like, what's going on? I'm in Texas. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but I think that this is good. Um, we, we paid $5 and 50 cents for it, but it's a size two XL. So, and the way that I found this brand was by researching sold listings on eBay above $25 sale price yeah. for button up shirts. Mm -hmm. Did not know about that brand before. Unicorn and Hustlers in the chat, babe. Oh my gosh, you have the best name. Lauren <laughs> Cole City Lutes in the chat. Randy's here. Welcome. We got a Savannah in the chat. Welcome to Texas. Here's a pocket for your gun. Pocket for your gun. <laughs> so awesome. Real life pocket for your gun. We like our guns. That's so funny. I don't think we drove through Waco yet. I think we drive no, through Waco whenever we go Austin to Dallas. But we came um, from Lafayette. Yeah. Last night we were in Lafayette and now we're in Houston. Allie got these. These are brand new. They've never been worn. They're Toms. You we're going to sell those. You were going to get them to wear for yourself, right? But they don't fit you? 
Toms aren't as comfortable cool as Bob's. Bob's are better. These are nice. Never been worn. I found a comp for 28 bucks on those. Laden, thank you for the $5 super chat. Oh, Laden. Appreciate it. It's a tip for our tips. Tips for tips. Tip us and we'll tip you. Yes. <laughs> we are going to go garage sailing with Bonafide. Um, no. When we get to Austin. I don't think we're going to be in Austin over the weekend. Oh, maybe. We got to figure that out still. Root Nation, what's on up, Sunday, guys? We'll have our Austin and Dallas yeah. planned out because we are going to Dallas now. Check this out, guys. This is a nice plaid button down, and the brand is True Religion. Guys, True Religion. Check that out. There's a little, um, there's a mark like they drew on the actual label, but. Um, people have asked us before what we do if thrift stores like put Sharpie on the labels. We don't really care. Um, the items sell for for us. They sell for the same price as if it didn't have that label. So, um, yeah, it's a really nice item. True religion. And then TS Delex asked if we've seen the new Kellogg's Unicorn cereal. Yes, yes, we have. And if anybody does spot it, buy it all. Buy it all. Buy it all. And then resell it. Hey, babe, I got a brand for you. Like fake Lacoste, it's a, the North Face. For your, for your face. face. <laughs> this is just a North Face short sleeve button down. It's a good one. We're just gonna show you guys like pretty Whoa. much everything we got. Oh, 19, 19 cells. cells. Thank you for nine, the- 999. Nine. Thank you for the 999 nine, nine super chat. Appreciate it. 999. Nine, nine. What's up guys? I'll read them from here. This is a fake trip. Yeah. <laughs> this is all a it's fake all background. Fake. Everything's fake. You like our green screen? It's good, right? <laughs> I mean. Um, Rack Attack says, not only show us what to thrift, but also what not to thrift, like fake Lacoste. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do more of those videos. Uh, I did one video showing like the stuff that we pass on. Because when we're, when we're at the thrift stores, I mean, we're passing on 95%, 99% of the stuff mm -hmm. out there. So I will show you guys more of the stuff that we pass on for sure. And for anyone in Houston, please come meet us tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at Holler Brewing. We are so excited to meet everybody, to hear your stories. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. We got 300 people in the chat now. That's awesome. Thanks for being here, guys. Oh, the Unicorn Lake Fellow. On your Friday night. It's at Sam's Club now. What Unicorns is? made a comeback, guys. The Unicorn yeah, Float. For real. And a peacock one. Orvis for your Orvis. <laughs> This is an interesting item. Um, check it out. It's a chaps. It's a chaps polo, but it is new. It's got the tags on it. What's interesting about this is um, the the tag says chaps Ralph Lauren, um, but the tag itself is just chaps, which is strange. Um, so I bought it anyway because it was only three dollars. Yeah. And it's got a cool spell out on the front there too. See that? I don't know. I think I think it was a pretty good buy. I like the American flag on the back. This is going. Oh, they don't have the unicorn cereal in the UK. I feel like the UK gets gypped on like the really bad, unhealthy cereals <laughs> that we get here. So Laden funny. found a two hundred dollar hockey jersey for five bucks at the Salvation Army. Good job. That's awesome. Hockey jerseys sell very well. And Frosty Charlie's in That's the chat, cool. and he asked, "After this trip, are you going to do live feeds daily?" No, no, not daily. No, we will still go live, but we're mm -hmm. going to go back to like our vlog style thing. This is just mm -hmm. a special, uh, special live show every day for you guys on this trip. Yeah, but maybe we'll do more than one a week on some weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So here's another brand, guys. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this one or not, but this is definitely a Bolo brand. It's called Nat Nast. Not worth as much as they used to be, but they're almost like Tommy Bahama style button downs. Um, the last one that we sold, we got 25 bucks for it. So they are still selling for decent money, not nast. And this one we paid $3.93 for. And just inventory, we are gonna go garage selling tomorrow. All right, I'm yeah. gonna hold up an item. Ooh, I don't know anything about this, you found this. <laughs> we actually, I think we showed this one of these on our, on our previous live show. It's Drake Waterfall Systems. This one's really nice. It's got vents and stuff all over the place. It's a pretty cool. It's interesting to, to see like different brands in different states. Like we've been finding a lot of this Drake Waterfall brand and we've never seen it before in Florida. So yeah. it's been pretty interesting. In Florida. Florida. You know, Florida. <laughs> Any Florida meetups? We will do some Florida meetups. Oh yeah. How this amazing is, is this? This was my favorite find personally of the day. I think it needs washed. Probably. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. 
Captain Jack Sparrow jersey, and it is adult size. Um, it's it's a nice big size. Walt Disney World tag, and it's an adult size 2XL. It's pretty cool. That's at least like a $50 item. I paid $5 for that one. Side note about 2XLs, if you have a Tommy Bahama button-up shirt, if it's a 2XL, it's worth more than a large and an XL. When yes, it's a 2XL. very true. Just letting you guys it's know It's worth that. like quite a bit more. Yeah, at least 10 to 15% more. Mm -hmm. Sean says that I should record the shopping experience and visually explain to people our method and thought process. That's a good idea. Yeah. In some of our past videos, it's kind of hard to like film and talk at the same time in the thrift store. What I could probably do is is film and then maybe do like a voiceover, voiceover. afterwards and explain what I'm doing in the thrift store. That's and a really I good idea. I interrupt you in the voiceover. <laughs> That's a good idea, Sean. What's yeah, we that? we need to do that. People ask. Masters brand. Well, Here's Bobby Jones. Thing. Bobby Jones brand with the Masters logo. Pretty cool. Here's a brand I've never seen before, guys. Um, this one, I, I looked up the comps on eBay and the comps look really good. What do you guys think? It's called Crazy, Crazy Wear. It's clearly vintage and they look like, um, I don't know, they look like prison pants. <laughs> We're going fast because we want you guys to see all the things and then I'm but gonna look back cool. through the chat and read some questions. And, I think these you will know. sell well. Bam. That's for me. That's, That's mine. For, Ryan. for when we go to himself. Disney, I get to wear that to Disney. <laughs> for when we go to Disney, because you know, in Florida, you can literally only wear tank tops when you go to Disney because it's so hot out. That's right. Fun fact: a male duck is called a drake. Did you I know, didn't that? know that? What's a female duck called? A, a fowl. Fowl. <laughs> Callie's know, really, Callie says chef pants. No, I don't think they're chef pants. They're just like crazy, like the name implies. They're crazy pants. Oh, there's another one. You guys, are That's you ready also, to not see me? <laughs> Where'd you go? Where's Allie? <laughs> Did I just disappear? <laughs> this is also the same Drake, Drake waterfowl, waterfowl systems. Um, but this is like, this is probably at least a $60 jacket. It's a pretty, pretty uh, well nice put together one. jacket. Yeah. And then, Beetle oh jacket. yeah. Patagonia. Yeah, Patagonia. That's just a little like base layer. Um, I think they call what do they call them? Patagonia. Don't they call them base layers? Is it? Oh, base layer. Yeah, performance base layer. There you yeah. go. Patagonia. You shove it at me. You're like here, we'll hold this. A female duck is Daisy. Really? Like Daisy Duck? Disney Daisy Duck? Oh wait, is that actually why she's called? I don't know. Are you lying to us? Hey guys, do you ever use a mannequin or a flat lay hanger only? We only do flat lays because it's fast and doing a hanger on it or not a hanger, doing a mannequin on and off, um, it wastes too much time for Callie and for us. So we can do twice the amount of items. We don't flat lay it. We hang it on the giant hanger yeah, that Callie and I made yeah. that we stole from Side Hustle Pros. That's right. <laughs> Trista. At least 60 bucks. Yeah, 19 cells for sure. All right, let me button this. So I don't. Marissa asked if we can do live garage sales tomorrow. Um, it makes it awkward walking up to yeah. a garage sale with like your phone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think oh, we can no. do it. I will vlog it though. What do you guys think about that fire? Look How at that. Awesome is this? People, people ask us all the time, like, what kind of Tommy Hilfiger items do we buy and what this. do we what do we pass on? So with dress shirts, this is an item that we would buy. The ones that we don't buy would be the plain ones. If it's not a crazy color like this mm -hmm. or multicolored ones, we'll pass on those ones. But if someone said, hey, fill a bag for $5 and there were 20 of them, we would buy Probably them and buy sell them. them in lots. Yeah, exactly. So it really just depends yeah. on price and they're never cheap enough to buy to sell in lots. Right. That's just the problem. Allison Roots is beautiful. Oh, thanks. Reseller. Zero makeup on. Do you have any sisters? <laughs> that's awesome. I only have two brothers. Oh, that's right. Sister in laws. That's right. We're we're owed some deer meat from uh, nineteen cells. Oh, that's their name. Yeah, is nineteen Lewis. cells? Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. yeah. Female duck is called a hen. Is it? Wait, now Lewis, you guys are, are confusing really? me. Um, that's a chicken. Yeah, Randy. We will we will film some of the garage sale stuff tomorrow for sure. We're excited about going Maybe out. Maybe we'll vlog tomorrow. Yeah, we'll vlog tomorrow. For sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, let's see. My phone locked. I want to read some questions. Okay, I'm gonna read some questions. Okay, I'm gonna keep showing stuff. Keep showing stuff. Um, this one, this is a brand that I've never bought before. 
Never found it in Florida before. It's called Huck. Is that right? H-U-K, Huck, um, Huck Fishing. Um, I looked up comps on it and I found one that had sold for, it was a best offer, but it was $40. It was the best offer on a $40 listing. So I don't know. That so could be really good. This is funny. ADH Fishing asks, so if it looks like it belongs on an episode of what not to wear, then buy it. Correct. Yes. Correct. That's a really, really good. With Tommy, yeah. the more obnoxious, really the better. A hundred percent of the time. Yeah. The worse sure. it is on your eyes, the better it is. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, I have a super bolo for you. You ready? I've never had a unicorn hot chocolate, but I would like to. Ooh, it's a pair of shoes. This is crazy. We paid $3.99 for these shoes. And the weird thing is, I think most people, or at least, at least people who are new to reselling, probably would walk right past these. If you ever see shoes that look like this, you guys see that? They're just yellow clogs. They are Birkenstocks. I'll try to get that in the camera. They're Birkenstock clogs. Go and look up comps on these. People absolutely love these. Um, make sure that they say USA on the bottom of them. That's a funny sound. Do it again. I like it. <laughs> One more time. People swear by these things. A lot of people use them for like gardening and stuff. Mm. Nurses use them all the time. Um, they're like what Crocs wish they could be. <laughs> basically um these are probably i would say 50 to 70 dollars and we paid three bucks for Whoa. them or four dollars yeah these are cool so for everybody wondering when we're going to be in dallas we have not decided yet but probably by sunday we'll have that figured out if not monday yeah mm -hmm. we'll be going to austin on monday yes yeah yes that is correct this is an Eli Cattleman uh, Pearl Snap button down. We only picked these up when they're really cheap. This one was only $2. It's a, it's a size medium. And we get between like $18 to $21 for these shirts. And then we were asked, do you guys ever sell toner like for a printer, correct? For sure, yeah. Yes. And then if so, do you sell on eBay or Amazon? If we're ungated through Amazon, we sell it on Amazon. Yep. If not, we list it on eBay. Correct. And if you list it for the right price, it will go within five seconds of you listing Pretty it. Pretty much instantly. Because yeah, there's... people have search, saved searches and it auto Correct. buys it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then to add to that, check the expiration date. If you're selling on Amazon, obviously they can't be expired, but even if they are expired, you can still sell them on eBay. Right. For sure. Let's see. Here's a hat I bought. Does anybody know what that is? This was an interesting one. I bought it as we were walking out of the thrift store. It's a Blink-182 hat. Some memories there. There's someone sure. else. Hello, Jenny, new to our channel. These, uh, There's a comp, a sold comp on this exact hat for $24. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. Reseller Network asked, why are we traveling to Texas? Because we missed our previous shows. The reason why we originally wanted to travel to Texas was to go to the Funimation factory, I like to call it that, and meet the guy who voices Vegeta because one of our amazing, yeah. I don't know if we can say names. I'll ask her if it's okay if we say her name because we'll say her name later. But she said her husband works there and that we can meet Vegeta. And so I That's was right. really excited and I'm ready to fangirl. <gasps> I didn't bring my Vegeta for him to sign. Oh no. Because we didn't think we were going. No, this is, I'm going to go buy another one for him to sign. You should. Okay, I'm going to. Anthony asks, how do we ship hats? Um, it depends on the hat. If it's a very expensive one, if it's sold for a lot of money, we'll box it up and ship it first class. If it's not a very expensive one, we'll pad it, pad the inside with bubble wrap. So it doesn't move, get smushed. Bubble wrap the bill, bubble wrap the entire thing, and then poly bag it and ship it out. We've never had any issues with shipping hats that way. Yeah, usually when stuff is in a poly bag, it's in with all the other poly bags, yeah. whereas boxes get smashed because they're in with other boxes that are really heavy. So that's always worked for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lewis 19 Cell says, as a mentoring program alum, I have to say thank you for your help. You're so welcome. It was really nice. We actually got to meet and hang out with, uh, with you, and it was really cool to do that. Yeah, and it was really cool to know that we're going to get deer because <laughs> I like venison. Yes. Howdy, howdy, Evelyn. Hello, everybody. Do you uh, clean the bottoms of the shoes? We do. We will remove yeah. the price. And the yeah. nail polish remover will take that off. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Sorry. Careful. Sorry, I was going to say, do you guys like my shirt? 
working my puff in the tough. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> a jiggly. homemade shirt. It is. How awesome is that? It is. And my sister-in-law made me this. All right. She makes awesome shirts, guys. If anybody needs a shirt made, she's your girl. K KTC Designs? Yes, I think KTC is Designs on Etsy. Here's another one. Duluth Trading Company. Uh, we only bought this one because it's a it's a nice black polo and it only costs 99 cents. And there we're going to fit everything in the Camry because the trip is cram the cam, so we have to actually That's cram right. the cam. That's Last right. time, we only filled up like half the trunk, but this time... I'm going to fill up the entire trunk. Nice. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 let me see. Where can you find info on our mentoring program? Just go to our website, mm -hmm. rallyroots.com, and click on the little work work with us at the top. Marissa says urban diggers go live at yard sales. Urban. Yeah. I mean, we, we can go live at garage sales. It's just like I said, it's awkward to walk up with your phone going live. It's better if we just vlog it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a little scared to do plus, that. Plus, we um we look stuff up on our phones while we're at the garage sale. So we if do. I'm live on my phone, I can't look stuff up. We do. Oh, try magic eraser for marker. Minimal water on paper. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. The magic erasers are wonderful. I always end up using mine up, though, in the house, to clean <laughs> the walls. <laughs> All right, guys, check these out. How green are these pants? They're jeans. Fill the U-Haul. So green. Look at that. Fanny pack cam. We were, we're going to start doing that again. Does anybody know what brand these are? Can you tell just by the... Oh, those are good jeans. Show you guys the logo. They are Gerbo. It kind of blends in there, but they're Gerbo, Gerbo jeans. Some more Gerbo stuff. It's a hard thing to say. <laughs> Here's another really, really good buy, guys. Oh, let me grab this bag. Found this Robert Graham shirt. So exciting. Pink shirt with the flip cuffs. The embroidered flip cuffs. Look at that. Crazy. Matches the collar. This is probably like a at least a $30 plus shirt. Absolutely. And then this is Bugatti Omo. Umo? U O M O. <laughs> um it's a cool shirt. It just popped up whenever I was doing research, so we're going to give it a go because it is really obnoxious and bright. So, guys, what not to wear. What not to wear. Always right? sells. Although I love this. I love this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, what is this one? Oh, here's another button down. This is Marmot. Marmot. Also, like, a similar brand to uh, – I put it in the same category as, like, the North Face, Patagonia – not as good, but still a good brand for sure. This is dry cleaned. You Marmot. Can tell by its stiffness. And remember, guys, everything that we're showing you, we paid right around $151 for and everything. And 91 cents. Okay. <laughs> Here's another Robert Graham. We got two button-down long-sleeve Robert Graham shirts today. Mm -hmm. This one isn't as crazy. It does still have the flip cuffs but and matches the collar. And people have asked us, do we leave the dry cleaning tag on the clothes when we take pictures and ship them? Yeah. Yes, we do. Because <laughs> come on, it's been dry cleaned. You you don't want to not advertise that. Reseller Network says, question, do you measure t-shirts and polos? Yes, yes, we do. We measure all clothing and we put the measurements as a picture in the listing. And we don't typically measure sleeve length. And we rarely get asked that. Today was one of the first times in a long time someone asked us the what? length of a sleeve. Oh, sleeve yeah, yeah, yeah. We just do chest and length usually on mm -hmm. shirts. So from collar down, and we put – that's what the chest measurement yes. is from the bottom of the collar seam to the bottom seam of the shirt, and then same from seam to seam from the armpits. Right. We like Because, you know, people in their minds might think, oh, it's different, but so they'll read that right. and they'll know. Hope Gilbert asked, do we wash everything? We don't wash everything. Mm -hmm. We only wash the stuff that we feel needs it. So if it's been dry cleaned then and it doesn't smell bad, if it still smells bad, we'll wash it. But if it's been dry cleaned and it smells good, we'll list it as is. We do wash a lot of our stuff, though. If there's any weird smell to it or if it has something on it that needs to be washed, mm -hmm. we'll wash it for sure. Yeah. Most people donate from their closets, not their hampers. It's true. All right. And they're right. Who's going to – should I show them this yeah. amazing thing? Okay, all right. I love that one. So this was one of those 
I can't believe we found it and we probably won't find another one for at least six to eight months. Probably. Because it's that awesome. Although we found one at a garage sale that I kept. Yes, look how shimmery. It's that vintage surf, surf style. style. If you've seen this before. Super cool. But the colors, the, the camera's picking it up exactly what yeah. it looks like in person. It's like, it's like a chameleon colors, you know, it's, like changes it's like, color. You know, my hair. It is like your hair. <laughs> Although my hair looks really dark right now That's in the awesome. light. Uh, Chris asks, are we going to install a washer and dryer in the warehouse? When we build our new place, when we get back, yes, it'll have a washer and dryer in the warehouse. I didn't even think about that. How long have you been doing this? Um, we've been selling online for a long time. We've been full-time resellers for about two and a half years. So not a very long time full-time, but we've always kind of sold stuff online. Iridescent is the term. Yeah, and Antique Queen says if she smells urine on something, she doesn't buy it. Oh, for sure. Yep. Yeah. We, I, I mean, don't think you can ever get the smell out of yeah. clothing when it's Here's a cool Tommy for your mommy polo. Very basic. Um, so we will buy some basic Tommy stuff if it has the spell out on it. You guys can see there. This is called a spell out when it says the actual name spelled out on the item. And that's a good, it's a good keyword to put in your title as well. Spell out. I feel like cool. once every six months we should buy a shirt and then like paint it. And then paint auction it. it off. Yeah, that's a good and idea. And then use the proceeds to go to the puppies. Mark says it's called Jet Fuel, the color of the jacket. Interesting. Oh. I didn't know that. Okay, Callie, make a note. Jet Fuel. So my hair is kind of the color of Jet Fuel then. Well, the Jet oh, Fuel. Geez. Oh, because when it's on water, it makes the oil spill. Did she, so what Laura said she didn't say urine. I don't know what she said. Maybe. No, no, she didn't. Uh, but uh, children are watching, so I. Oh, I didn't see. Okay, okay. It starts with a P. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Here's <laughs> another Tommy for your mommy. Again, we only buy unique, kind of unique Tommies. This has the big box logo on the front here. Um, and I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's kind of like a patchwork one. Different color, different color fabrics all over it. You can see that. These ones like this sell for over, I would say like 25 bucks for us. Alexander, killing it. This was all in one. Yeah, this was all in one day. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your merchandise. <laughs> 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 That's so oh awesome. My gosh. Yeah, we, this was all in one day and only from three thrift stores. We we work thrift stores really, really well. So. And do you see Slowbro Gaming? That's a really good question. Um, you see that we have the paid version of the Yard Sale Treasure Map. Do the additional features seem worth it to you? To us? Yes. To us, 100%. Yeah. Isn't it only $2? It's like three bucks a year, four bucks a year or something like that. Um, here's how we like to use the garage, mm -hmm. the yard sale treasure map, the extra features. So dry, sorry. Um, I'll yeah. type in keywords like community, video games, like the type of things that we like to buy at garage sales. You can put that as a keyword and you can change the color of the bubbles so that if that keyword hits, it'll show as like community right. sales show, show as purple. So we know like, okay, if we look at the map, there's going to be a bunch of community sales. And again, you can do that with different keywords. So I think it's worth it for sure. You can also see different sales on different days. Here's another item, guys. Tell How me. How many likes do we have right now on this video? I don't know. How many? Uh, it's got a little. Tell me what you guys think about this buy. Um, I bought it because it was brand new with tags. We, we usually don't buy these if they're not new with tags. And the funny thing is it has the Marshalls tag on it. So Marshalls was selling this polo for $35. And then the original tag is still on it as well for $85. How so it's just a is that? brand new with tag Polo Ralph Lauren, um, Polo Ralph Lauren <laughs> size <laughs> large red polo. Um, I think we should get at least twenty five bucks for that. Ryan likes to crumple stuff up and throw it. There's still more stuff. Are you out of stuff on your side? I'm out of stuff on my side. Okay, I, I was going to show stuff. them Jared shoes. I have, <laughs> but I have three more things. Three more things. You want right, to show well, that give one? Give me this. Three more Ooh, things, like and then we'll answer some questions for you guys. All right. It's just a mess, guys. All right. Okay, got this. <laughs> so this is Levi's Sutter Creek, which is really interesting. Let me hold this up so you guys. Levi's Sutter Creek. I had never seen that label before. It's flannel, and the comps were good, so we bought it. It's really nice. So the, the comps were okay, yeah? 
but we mainly bought it because of the pattern, right? Yeah. We thought that we would give it a shot because mm. the pattern's so cool, the item's in good condition. So yeah. Yeah, some of the comps are good enough for patterns like this that were flannel. Right. And I'm guessing this is vintage for this tag. We have to do more research, but it's um, nice. Carmen asks, Ali Ryan question, did you buy a Florida business license? Yeah, we're registered in Florida as a, we're registered as an S Corp, and then we do have a reseller certificate is what it's so called. So that we don't have to pay tax. At, exactly. Well, I mean, because obviously right. that's what we do, but also it helps because we don't have to pay tax in addition. Sales tax. Sales tax on items that we're buying at auction. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. And then when we sell an item on eBay, that is shipped within Florida, we collect sales tax and then we pay that sales tax back to the state. Mm -hmm. That answers that question. Um, so these are this is uh, these are two really cool brands here, guys. Oh, we just got ten dollars from Laura. Thank you, Laura. Appreciate Thanks the ten dollars. Info we chat. pass along. Go get a yes. Starbucks. Oh, we, we were at Starbucks. Crystal today. ball drink. Yeah, we were there today. I didn't see that? Yeah, the one that you said that looks like mint. I don't want that one. Oh, because is it mint flavored though? Cause I'm going to get chai tea lattes. <laughs> All right guys. Who knows what that is? Who knows just from the pattern, what that is? Say it in the chat. Who knows? Everyone Who knows what knows. that is? Everyone knows what that is. <laughs> I think it's a pretty recognizable pattern. Now I'm going to get the crystal ball drink. So we got a Burberry, Burberry London, just basic polo. Oh, it's really bright, but it's like a beige beige polo. Yeah, it has a nice khaki tone to it. Every time we get these, uh, or every time we find these, we get right around 40 bucks for them. Yeah, everybody's like Burberry, Burberry, Burberry. You guys Ooh, are good. Peach? You guys Someone are good. Someone says they think the crystal ball drink is peach. I love peach. And these usually sell for like three days, or in like three days for us. How much is that going to sell for? Like okay. I said, like 40 bucks is usually what oh, we wow. get for Oh, yeah. wow. I love that. Bring the sales prices up. Average. Have we thought about adding Facebook Marketplace as a possible opportunity mm -hmm. for selling? I've been wondering lately. So we use Facebook Marketplace sometimes to source inventory, not to sell on. Um, last Christmas, what I can say is, was it last Christmas or the Christmas before that we sold all those Yetis? The Christmas before. The Christmas before, we we came across like oh, a, wow. a huge lot of Yeti cups. Um, and those we sold yeah. on the Facebook Marketplace just because they were selling so fast. We sold 81 cups in three days. That was insane. So, but people were buying them like, like three or four at a time. Our friends were hitting us up. Oh my yeah. gosh. All right. Do you guys want to see a brand that is a definite bolo? I hate that word, bolo. What else could we use? So instead of be on the lookout, buy immediately. I don't know. We'll work on that buy one. It now. I don't like saying bolo. Bin. It's weird. I think it's of the a tie. Bin. Bin, buy it now. Buy it now. <laughs> Here's the brand, guys. I'll try to get it right up in the camera for you. There it is. Rag and bone. Rag and bone. This one's new to me. Yeah, this is a really cool brand to look out for. Even a basic t-shirt like this. This one cost us $2. And the lighting's weird, but it's just a regular basic gray. Like a charcoal. Charcoal mm -hmm. t-shirt. Um, even one like this will probably get at least like 25 bucks for it. So there's a new brand for you guys if you've never seen that one. <laughs> GTS, I love that. Must buys, yeah, like must buys. You see that GTS from Laura? Lauren asks if it's linen. I don't know if it's linen. Let me check. Uh, Nordstrom has that, ooh, that's always good. Oh, and there's a tag on the inside as well. A lot of you guys know about this brand. I yeah. feel like you guys know more about brands than me. This one is not. This is 100% cotton, oh. not linen. It's a great brand, though. All right. Should we answer some questions for you guys? All right. Let's go. Questions. Thanks for being here, guys. By the way, please give the video a thumbs up, and we will go ahead and jump into questions and answer as many as we can in the next, uh, what time is it? We'll go on for another, like, 15 minutes and answer as many questions as we can for you guys. And then we got to get some sleep so we can wake up for garage sales tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying ready, set, go. <laughs> ready, set, <laughs> questions, go. And if, again, if we missed your question before, just oh, ask it again. That's a good question. Any non-clothing items in our haul? We only went to three thrift stores, and they did not have good non-clothing items. Yeah, yeah. We, this time. Most, yeah, pretty much everything was clothing except for the shoes, the Toms and then those Birkenstocks. But it's still... 
an accessory of clothing. Yeah, the Birkenstocks. Yeah. Oh, we got some super chats. William, $2. Thank, Thank you, William. William. Steph says, Have, if you ever come to Nebraska, I will take you guys to Omaha at Henry Dorley Zoo, world's largest, greatest zoo. Ooh. We love zoos. Oh my god. We gosh. love zoos. That's fun. I love to go to awesome. zoos. Once we were at the zoo and there were two spoonbills building a nest and we helped them. Yeah. We kept finding sticks for them and giving it the stick and it loved it. We, <laughs> that for was 30 really cool. minutes. We were we <laughs> came it was to so cool. Bills. It was so much fun. <laughs> oh my god, it was amazing. What inspires you? Oh, that's a cool question. I think freedom. That's a good answer. Just not having someone. Freedom like that, a that Mel schedule. Gibson scene yeah. in Braveheart. Yeah. Freedom! Being able to do what we want when we want is what inspires me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What inspires me is helping other people be able to like break free of their debts and um, like move on from their job that they hate. That's the only reason I agreed to do YouTube is because yeah. we got really nice messages from people telling us we've helped yep. them. Anytime mm -hmm. we get a good message like that, that's what keeps us going and inspires me. And we don't sell kids clothes because the value, all the ones we find is always mm -hmm. low, but we will sell Burberry kids pants and we have because we yeah. found them for cheap enough. And then do you buy suits and sport coats? Nope. We don't know enough about it and we don't like them. We don't. Um, we just not. But I do know a few people who specialize in sports coats and suits. Um, they say that they love it, but it takes a while to build up your inventory. And most uh. of them are long tail items. Like they'll have a suit listed for like 90 days before it sells. And that's a good sale for them. For us, we're trying to turn inventory as fast as we possibly can. So yeah. we buy stuff that we can turn usually in less than 30 days. Except leather jackets. Those we don't mind sitting on for Correct. like six, Certain eight Certain things, yeah. yeah. Like Especially that Indian, if we buy them in summer. The Indian one that we got, mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll sit on that one forever if we need to. What time do we wake up for garage sales? Well, if I have to put makeup on because we're <laughs> vlogging, I, end, I have to walk both the dogs and then give Lychee her liver medicine. It's usually... I need to be up at like 6.45, Yeah, but I get up at seven. But we, we kind of take our time. Like we in, mm -hmm. really enjoy garage sales. So we kind of like go out later than most people. We'll go to like eight o'clock and we still find really good stuff. Mm -hmm. So And we'll go late sometimes if the garage sales are busy until one, we'll go until one because people just want to yeah. get rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. We're like the thrift pickers on the road again. Yeah, we we our goal this year was to travel more and, and share that with you guys. If you notice, like um, our name is Rally Roots, but our little acronym or the little phrase underneath is buy, sell, travel. Mm -hmm. So we buy and sell so that we can travel. That's what yeah. we love to do. So we're trying to travel more. Oh my God, Callie goes, wait, her name isn't TJ. That's so funny. Steph. It's Steffi. What's our pet peeve of reselling? Oh, it's just when people lie. Yeah, on eBay returns are returns are annoying. I just don't like people being dishonest. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like something, you don't like it, you know. But that's the only thing that bothers me is when people lie. And then, are we gonna go free returns to keep top rated? Question yes. from be promoted. We are doing free returns to mm -hmm. be top to keep top rated plus for sure. Tomorrow's fifty percent off at your local Goodwill. Go hit it. Late but made it. Hi, South of Martindale. How are you? I have some good questions. Why don't you sell women's clothing from Curly Do 32? That's we, cute. We do sell women's clothing. We just sell more men's clothing. Yeah, we. it's hard to find the high-end women's clothing for us in our area because it yeah. gets picked clean. Yeah. But we, we do. Sell, we sell a lot of like women's higher-end athletic wear. Mm -hmm. um, the main reason why we sell men's mm -hmm. clothing, there's, there's really two main reasons. The first one is... Uh, it's easier for us to learn the brands and we know them really well. And there's less brands in men's clothing than there is in women's. And the second reason is, I hate to say it, but men's clothing have has way less returns than women's clothing. Women get stuff and they're picky and they send them back. Guys just buy something and even if they don't like it, they keep it. Because <laughs> I feel like, well, honestly, growing up with brothers, my brothers were like, I know that this size of this brand fits me. Yeah. So it was just easier to just buy it. And True. now you can shop, you know, on your couch. And instead of spending $50 on a shirt, you can get one for 20 right. That looks great. And maybe it's a little used. And most guys are like, eh, I love that shirt. Just buy it. They don't really even think twice because they need a new shirt because their last one, they spill barbecue sauce on right. it because that's something my brother would do, you know? Yeah. Balta, hold on. Balta says, how long is the mentoring? It's two months long. 
Um, if you guys are interested in the mentoring, we're full right now. The next round is opening up in June. If you just go to our website, rallyroots.com, you can submit a form and we'll let you know when the next round opens up. All these good questions. Question, if I hit up Doug from eBay, can you get them to sponsor us? Can we get a Rally Roots appearance in Nebraska? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll go to Nebraska. Um, we actually, oh. we met Doug at the last event that we were at. So we know Doug now. So yeah, hit him up and at, tell him that we that you want us there. And if eBay tells us that we can go, then we'll go for sure. That's really, really cool. Yeah, Doug is a really good guy. I think, I feel like Doug truly cares about us and he'll, mm to eBay, because he's part of the community team, he'll really express to eBay how important their sellers are. And because the community team has come and met the sellers and realized, yeah. oh, we're real people and we will leave, that they're gonna turn around and say to eBay, like, don't make your sellers mad, treat them better, treat them well, you know, see what they want, this is what they want, this is what they've complained about time and time again. 20, 30 people got up and said the same exact thing. We need to change that. Yeah. Don't, I don't know if eBay necessarily cares, which I want to think they do, but they're still, you know, they're a big <laughs> business. But I feel like Doug definitely Doug's, cares. Doug seems like a good guy. His mm -hmm. um he's he changed his Instagram name to Snoop, to Snoop, Dougie. Snoop Dougie. So Snoop, funny. I think it's Snoop.Dougie. If you guys want to go connect with Doug from eBay, he's a pretty good guy. Yeah. How and long? the Irish guy. Yeah, and the Irish guy. How long do we spend in a thrift store? Depends on the store. Usually about an hour, I would say. And are we hitting the eBay open this year? If eBay invites us, sure. Yeah, everyone tell eBay to invite us and we'll be there. Yeah. And we'll even wear an eBay shirt. We have a lot of stuff on the books. So we're only going to kind of go mm -hmm. to events if we're invited. We can't just go to go because we already have other stuff planned. If we're invited yeah. to go like speak at eBay open, then we can cancel stuff and go to it. Or like the Nebraska event, if we're invited to go speak there, then we can cancel other plans and go. But we have to. Oh, Callie said there's over 400 people watching. Guys. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for being here on your Friday night, hanging yeah. out with us. That's so awesome. Please hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Finally you caught Sunday you live. Internet. I did not know last Sunday was International Unicorn Day. I How didn't did you know, not that. know that. Because I don't have the what national days are. I feel like. So for two <laughs> weeks, Ryan and I celebrated every yes. national day. That's a. Do by you the remember way, when yes, we did that? Yes. If any of you guys are in like serious relationships, that's a really fun thing to do with your significant other. Look up the national days and celebrate like you have to celebrate that day on each day it's yes. so much fun to do with do with each other we were like oh my gosh it's national donut day we have to go get donuts yep <laughs> it was amazing i think i joined the food one. Oh yeah because it was a different was food great. every day and it, we we one weekend we were like okay this is bad and two weeks in we quit because you just can't you can't <laughs> celebrate every day but do it for one a week it's amazing oh my gosh jay and joss flip to cash says making loot with the roots make i loot like with that the roots. that's awesome oh we should make that a shirt there's so I many know, good, shirt, good ideas. shirt and sorry guys the questions are going really fast so if we miss your question i'm sorry we're going to try to answer as many as we can and we are coming to austin matt asked on monday i think in the evening time we're going to head out to austin Yes. Because we'll probably want to thrift Monday morning. Yes. And yeah. for people that just joined the chat, do you want to tell them about the meetup tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are meeting at Holler Brewing. It's H-O-L-L-E-R. We're going to have a table reserved. If people could like shoot us a DM or message us and let us know you're going to be at that, that'd be great. Because if I need to reserve more than one table, I can. But We're going to need more than one table. Well, I don't know. How big is the table? I don't, I don't know. Is it like a Last Supper table? Or is it like a... Like, like a, a like four person or like a two time. I'm table. thinking it's say so it's like ten. That's my guess. <laughs> okay. Eight to ten people. But yeah, at holler a table? holler brewing at six p.m. Six p.m. Yeah. Saturday the twenty fourth. Six p.m. Holler brewing. Do we have merch? We right now we just have beanies, beanies like hats. If you go to our website rallyroots.com, we have Rally Roots beanies. They're cool. They have like leather patches on the front and they're cool beanies. Ooh, here's a really good question from Annie. I notice you us. often end your prices in 0.77. Any scientific proof that's better than 99 cents or dot zero zero? That's a really good question. I've actually been, we've been talking about this in our mentoring program um, in the past couple of days. And it's worked for your brother really well. Yeah. Um,
there actually is a reason why we do that. And I, I wonder if I should share the reason. All right, I'll share it. <laughs> the reason we price at like 0.77 instead of 0.99 is because a lot of people on eBay, uh, when they're shopping, they sort the items by lowest price to, to most expensive price. And when they're mm -hmm. scrolling through, let's say I have the same item as you, but mine's listed at $19.77 and yours is listed at $19.99, mine is gonna show up before yours if they're sorted by lowest price. So, and you know how like quickly people make decisions online. If mine shows up first and they click on it, they're probably gonna buy it. So yeah. That's why we do that. And we just like the number seven. We've experimented with a few different ones. I've also done um, like 0.88, which works well. 0.49 wor works well, but 0.77 is the one that I like to, yeah use yes we will be making rally roots tank top Same. soon for sure uh do buy sell travel merchandise yeah we we uh we did buy sell travel t-shirts and hoodies um and we'll do more merchandise coming out soon guys here we go people some people are being really awesome and answering some of the easier questions in the yeah, chat for us thanks, so thank guys. you so much Appreciate you guys that. killing it uh, we will probably do coffee mugs as well where did we come up with the hip line? We used to have a coffee shop, or not a shop, but a coffee brand. We made a coffee soda, um, and then we sold it at festivals and, and like um, flea markets and stuff. And the name of our coffee company was called the Hip Line. So that's where that came from. And then Amanda, the only sibling we've gotten thus far to sell on eBay is Ryan's younger brother. Yeah, and he's doing really well. He's doing really well. He has a really good eye for mm -hmm. spotting like I guess because he's younger, he can pick up like the brand, the um, trends and stuff. So he's he's selling really well. <laughs> Randy, you're yeah, so Randy, funny. I wouldn't list at point six six six. Lauren, you want a hoodie? Okay, we'll make more hoodies. I, I think we're out of hoodies right now, but we'll make more hoodies for you. Yeah, we want to um, do tanks. Yeah, we're gonna so do tank tops. For the sure. company that we get our shirts from, they don't have tanks. They do have tanks. Well, they don't have the tanks that I like. They have girl tanks, but yeah. not guy tanks that no. are good. They're like really so maybe I can tanks. we can buy the the tanks separate and then bring and then it get to them. them to print on them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. How much do you? <laughs> <laughs> can I get some of that coffee soda though? <laughs> yes, <laughs> stuff was so good. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Chicago. One day we're gonna come to Chicago for sure. Allie's got a lot of family in Chicago. I do so. have multiple family members in Chicago. Yeah. Do we have stickers? We're making stickers. We're gonna Kimmy. make stickers with Kimmy. Allison's mm -hmm. uh, sister-in-law has a company that will make us decals, sticker decals, like for your car. Mm -hmm. We we had a couple. She made us a couple, and we have They're one. Amazing. I have one on the back of my car, and it's hold, holding up really well. So I have thanks. one on the back of my car too. They're like automotive <laughs> right. stick forever stickers. Ryan, show us your outfit. I'm just wearing a tank top that says "Working my my." My puff into short, tough and short shorts. Yeah, my shorts are pretty short today. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's wearing short shorts in a tank. That's typical. Yeah. Per use. Do you listen on your phone or computer? We always computer. listen on the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm, because you can edit photos a lot better on the computer than on the phone. Yep. You can make the backgrounds whiter and brighter and keep the actual item at the same color it's supposed to be. Mm. Whereas on the phone, you can't do that. Or at least we can't. No, with the editing tools. Yeah, no. with the editing yeah. tools. They're better. We want stickers, I know. Did we learn how to re or how to sell on eBay from other people or just learn ourselves? We are actually different than a lot of people. We learned everything ourselves. Um, we weren't involved in YouTube. We weren't involved on Instagram. Um, we weren't part of the reseller community until we kind of did it ourselves and figured it out and stumbled. That was one of the main reasons why I even started doing the YouTube channel to begin with was one, to document our journey and mm -hmm. two, to kind of like help beginners not make the same mistakes that we made which were many. Yeah, I mean, when we first started out, I went to a thrift store and I spent like $300 on inventory that I thought would sell well. I Without didn't- Without looking didn't, at yeah. sold comps. I didn't know about looking at sold comps. I didn't really know about doing my research. And if someone in the chat does not know what comps are, it means comparable. Comparable items, yeah. Um, and then when I got home, when we went to list stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff isn't worth anything. <laughs> so, you know, we we kind of figured it out by ourselves, but it's nice. There's a nice com community out there where you can learn a lot from YouTube nowadays mm -hmm. with reselling for sure. Yeah. And then if you want to take things a step further, that's why we do the mentoring as well. There's a lot of people in Chicago. Wow. 
Lauren, do meet up. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, we, we will be meeting up with Bonafide for sure. How well do we do with military type clothing, Sam ass? Um, we do really well with the older stuff. Mm -hmm. So like World War II stuff, we sold World War II jackets for $150 plus. A lot of the times those go overseas. So if you're yeah. selling military stuff, older military stuff, make sure that you turn the global shipping program or accept international uh, offers. But we do it through the global shipping program. We've sold a lot of stuff overseas with the military. Yep. Jennifer, you're welcome, Jennifer. We're glad that we're helpful. Let's see. Show Bonafide how to cut his hair, Brad said. <laughs> <laughs> his hair is getting long. My hair is really long too, though. Look how long my hair is. And do we accept crazy. Canadians for the mentoring? That hair. I think we've had Canadians in our mentoring. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The only thing that'll be different for a Canadian is the shipping. Uh, I right. don't. We don't really know how to ship <laughs> Canadian stuff, but yeah, for sure. Come to Arizona. We'll try. We're gonna try to go as many places as we, as we can, guys. And Paisley Bradley, thank you for answering those questions. Those are really good answers. I appreciate that. <laughs> very, very helpful. Thank you. All right, let's see. You've been reselling. Can for you help with ADD? <laughs> <laughs> Myra says I've been reselling for a year now, and I still don't have consistent sales. How long did it take you guys? Um. We started getting really consistent sales after about three months of going full time. Um, but again, we are, we were like fully, fully into it, buying mm -hmm. a lot of stuff, buying wholesale stuff, listing a lot of stuff. I think the most important thing I can say to help you a little bit is um, one, don't be afraid to spend money and get more inventory. But more important than that, make sure that you're listing consistent, consistently. Every, every single, single day. day. And every if you don't have day. an item to list, go in and edit a listing. Yeah, or go find an item to list. Yeah, or go find something to list, yeah. And everybody who has their abundance piles, abundance. focus on your abundance piles this week, guys, because that is money sitting. That's money waiting to be made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll help increase your sales because you'll be listing a bunch. LQD info. That's Joe from Canada it says I can help you with shipping from Canada. Awesome. Yeah. I know you do a lot of, a lot of stuff. Joe, shoot me an email, shoot an email to Ryan at ryanroots.com. I'd like to talk to you more about like maybe putting some stuff down for, for ca Canadian people to help them. out. And I was going to say, I think that they were the ones that didn't, I don't think we got your email about the beanie. Cause remember we were missing one beanie that we were supposed to send out. I think that Joe, was it you who said that we never sent your beanie? I don't know. Let us know in that email. Okay. Because I think it was. Tyler says you guys have changed my life. The, Whoa. That, that's so cool, man. That's so cool. I want to get like all the emails combined of the life stories of people. Yeah. Because that would be awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Questions. All right. <laughs> What time is it? Kelly says she sold her death pile in one big lot. Feels so good. How did good you idea. do that? Did you just list it on Craigslist or offer up or let go as like a reseller pile or? It's a good idea. I mean, very yes. interesting. You can sell lots on, on uh, eBay as well. Good day, Mike. Mentoring is open to us Aussies as well. Jen asked. Jen's What's an Aussie. Say? Oh, for sure. Yes, absolutely. Reselling the, the course is definitely open to Aussies. We love you guys. We spent a year in Perth. It's so. a little trickier for our experience with reselling as I think that for an Australia, but Australia has amazing thrift stores. Yeah, I mean, it's we were there. It's the similar. Good, you got so. you have salvos over there. You have gum tree, which is like Craigslist. You guys are good. Yeah. Someone asked about this tattoo, what the guy holding the staff is. These are Zulu warriors. So because I was born in South Africa. They're like Zulu, Zulu warriors. And this is a Zulu. This was the first tattoo I ever got. It's like a Zulu war shield. And these are the South African flag colors on it. It needs to be touched up after, how long ago was that? <laughs> 12 years almost. Oh, wow. Was it that long ago? It was, yeah. I was 18 years old. Oh, yeah. That's going to be 12 years. Yay, Perth. In so bit. we were actually, Jason, we were actually in Mandra. So Mandra. about an hour south of Perth. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. <sighs> Did you keep the turtles jacket? What turtles jacket? Did we get a turtles jacket? Ninja turtles jacket? I'm glad you like this tattoo. I appreciate it. Yeah. The, I really like the reflection. This is my favorite part here. The reflection thing. People always, always stare at it like, whoa, that's so cool. 
And then what brands do you look for the most in thrift stores, right? In thrift stores? Okay, cool. You got that? Yeah. We got a crazy troll there. Time out. Um, what do we say that again? What brand do we look for mo the most in thrift stores? Yeah. What brands do you look for the most? I have, I just have like a list of brands that we've sold in the past in my mind and I'm looking for those brands. So I would say there's probably like 50 main brands that I just store in my vast memory. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm going through, I'm looking for those brands. And then if I see something that is, un I'm, uh, that I'm unfamiliar with, um, and it feels quality, then I'll stop and I'll look it up right on my phone. As we're in the thrift store, I'll look it up. So. And then William asked how old we are. We're both going to be 30 this year. Yeah. My birthday is April 18th and Ryan's is June 4th. So if Gemini. anybody wants to send us honey in the mail. Send us Dragon Ball Z stuff. And Dragon Ball Z <laughs> stuff. You're welcome to. That's awesome. Ryan said I'm not allowed to get more unicorn things. No more unicorn stuff. But if it's <sighs> unicorn clothing, please just send it in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not at a hotel tonight. We're at our friend's house. We have friends in Houston that we're staying with. All right, guys, I think that's it. I think we're yeah, going to end it here for tonight. Um, we have to go to bed and wake up to go garage sale tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. This is like our fourth, fourth night in a row doing the live stream. Yeah. We will do our best to, I don't know if we're going to go live tomorrow, actually. I think maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll edit a video and put one up because we're doing the meetup tomorrow night. Ooh. So there will be a video tomorrow. It might not be a live show. Ooh. And then the next day we'll try to do a live one. But and I hope we answered as many questions as we could and that you're happy that we answered as many as we could. Yes. So I tried to, you know, really sit there and like throw questions out at Ryan. But again, it's if hard to get to your question. Please don't be upset with us. It's really difficult to if you just put it in the chat. No, don't put it in the chat below. Put it, it in the comment. comments below yeah. after the chat's gone yeah. and we will get to your question and answer it. Yeah. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with us and we'll see you on the next video. Everyone in Houston, please come meet us tomorrow. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. Holler Brewing. See you guys there. Bye.